Racism is man's gravest threat to man, maximum amount of hatred for the minimum of reason. Abraham Joshua Heskel said this, Native Americans are commonly used as mascots in high schools and collegiate sports. Native Americans are people too. They're the first people in North America actually, and they don't deserve to be treated less than that. Native American mascots are racist, inappropriate, and demeaning. First, I would like to tell you about why Native American mascots are inappropriate. Secondly, I would like to tell you about how if you stop use the ra use stop use stop the use of racist mascots and how it will affect you. Thirdly, I would like to tell you about how it will better the future of a non-racist society. Lastly, I would like to tell you how you can stop the use of natives yourself, native mascots yourself. Racism has been going on for too long in society and has been broadcasted through the world throughout mascots. First, racist terms such as redskins have been around since the beginning of time when white men saw the natives. This negative term is still used today. According to the American Indian Quarterly Spring 2002, whether or not the term had an innocent origin, redskins took negative and racist connotations imposed by the racist people who use it. Virtually every dictionary labels redskins as offensive, degrading, and wrong towards Native Americans. Using these terms cause Natives to feel dehumanized and cause them to have racial stereotypes placed on them. This term, these terms are also used as just mascots, it's like used in Washington as the Washington Redskins. Most people see this as in honor for Native Americans to be represented as a mascot. As stated in Diverse Issues in Higher Education, March 28, 2011, in contrast, universities argue that Native mascots stand as a symbol of honor, respect, and dignity that represent qualities the university strives for. How can you strive to be something, but yet call the people you're striving to be a word that they don't like? It's degrading. How can you use honor as an excuse to call Native Americans mascots redskins? If you wish to show honor towards people, use a term that they approve of would be a start. Native American tribes are, tribes are thrown around like everybody can be represented as them. It mocks tribes when schools refer to themselves as a tribe seeking donations as in the following quote. According to American Indian Quarterly 2002, there was a piece of mail addressed Dear Seminole as and asked the student to pledge their money to their Tallahassee tribe. The student understood what the request meant, but wasn't part of a real Native American tribe and was embarrassed by the letter that they received. There's no point in false representation of a tribe. Being a part of a tribe is serious and it shouldn't be mocked. How would you feel if your ethnicity was represented in a poor manner and caused you to have an embarrassing self-image? If only the world could see that even though Native Americans are stereotyped in sport, sport mascots, the problem shouldn't be ignored. As stated in American Indian Quarterly 2002, one of the reasons most Americans find mascots unremarkable and do not turn a critical eye toward mascots is because of their prevalence in similar, similar images in U.S. popular culture. We need to stop overlooking Native American mascots because they seem somewhat appropriate because other things in the world seem to be off. If we do this, then if we don't do this, then what will the world come to? Hating each other for our age differences? All that's needed to stop racism amongst mascots is to seek and find an anti-mascot movement. Join the movement and help stop what should have never been started. Also stated in American Indian Quarterly 2002, anti-mascot movement movements seek to remind the American public that the Native American identity was situ situated within Native America, not in carcerated version by the Euro Americans. Natives were the first in North America and should get the respect they deserve. If Americans respect Natives by not using racial slurs as mascots, then Natives might think of Americans as a think better of Americans as a whole. Native Americans that protest Native mascots that they don't approve of should get support by other ethnicities. According to American Indian Quarterly 2002, Natives were seen demonstrating Native peace versus the, red, the fan red savagery protesting words instead of violence. 
Native American mascots rep rep should be represented as peaceful rather than savage, then they may want to associate their tribes with the school. Ethn ethnicities, other ethnicities need to take the first step towards correctly symbolizing Native mascots and ease the tension, and there might be some peace instead of controversy. Next, if the world could see that equality among races could be caused a little easier if mascots were portrayed correctly and natives approved of the mascots that were represented. According to American Indian Quarterly 2002, native groups reclaimed their identity by countering the clothing of, of wannabe mascots with true dress and performing authentic ritualistic drum beats. Cultural awareness speaks volumes, people, so be aware of what's going on negatively with mascots and tell others. Spread the word and maybe the world will come full circle and see that fair treatment among races could cause peace. Universities and colleges need to ask the tribes for permission if they're representing their tribe. And maybe then natives and other non-racists wouldn't get upset about the misrepresentation. As stated in the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis 2012, Oregon was the first state to pass a bill requiring, requiring a school get tribes permission to use the name associated with a tribe. Native Americans could teach others at the school how to properly dress as a mascot and perform in sporting events, and then they maybe won't get offended. Natives should be seen as honorable, just as the schools wish to represent. Or schools could remove mascots altogether. Native mascots altogether. As stated in Time of January 23, 2012, on the surface, name branding seems harmless. The University of North Dakota's logo is a headshot of a stern looking warrior. The warrior's mascot representation could be taken as savage and mean or courageous and bold. Natives don't, be, don't need to have their tribal ways misrepresented. It should be clear that if native mascots are removed altogether, then there could be no controversy. There are many ways to stop racial mascots, but the first step is to be culturally aware. Lastly, Native American tribes don't like being compared to other mascots because it makes them seem more Hollywood and less real. My audience analysis proves that 93% of the people in this room believe that Native Americans don't like being compared to other mascots because it because it makes them feel like they're lesser people. If this statistic is true, then go among your peers after class and tell about Native American mascots and how they are misportrayed and inappropriate. Take action by writing the Commissioner Roger Goodwell at 345 Park Avenue, New York, New York, zip code 10154, or call the NFL League at 212-450 Two zero zero zero, and ask them to change the mascot. Now that you're aware, go help. You can simply go to www.changethemascot.org and print out change the mascot, change the mascot sign, and bring it to NFL games, to your house, show it among your school or among your friends. You can also reach the commissioner on Twitter at NFL Commission with the hashtag change the mascot. Now that you're aware and you know how you can help stop racist mascots, go contact your local newspapers, radios, and TV stations against the Redskins and other racist mascots.